Love, love. Oh, flower. Hi, guys. Yes. <laughs> Malone. The days go by so quickly and you look back and you're like, oh my goodness, what have I done? I had a lot of moments like that in 2023 where I looked back and I was like, whoa, five hours passed, what did I do? And a lot of that time was spent on TikTok and Instagram. So I want to show what kind of improvements and things that I want to do for 2024 that are gonna help me reach the goals that I need to reach, right? We're gonna get out of our depressed, lazy girl era and we're gonna get into wanting the best for ourselves, becoming her, get well, series just living better healthier living a happier life so i'm gonna share a list of the things that i want to implement or i've already been implementing and you know create a better 2024 for ourselves less phone time screen time i recently went off instagram for about a month now oh my goodness the the time that i've had on my hands is crazy personally for me you know especially now that i'm taking neuroscience i'm very interested in how dopamine works and how screen time and social media tiktok and all of that just sends these dopamine receptors and just makes us want want more and want more and want more and scroll more and scroll more and scroll more next thing you know you're you know these these companies these apps are fighting for your attention and if you're giving them your attention you're giving them your time essentially you do not have enough time to focus on the things that you want to focus on would you rather spend your five hours looking at somebody else's life achieving the things that they want to achieve or they are currently achieving versus you working towards those goals i mean there there's a whole list on why social media is bad for you it can be good if you are able to use it in an advantage if you use it advantageously, no, that is not a word. <laughs> it can be good if you know how to use it wisely. Social media is very overwhelming. There's so many opinionated thoughts, opinions, opinionated people. And if you're constantly seeing that on a regular basis, at some point, you know, it's just too much. Okay, so I said all that to say that one of the non-negotiables, things that I really want to do is stay off social media screen time tiktok facebook instagram i deleted those apps and i've been so much productive it's crazy i mean yeah i'm not keeping up with whatever the recent times the trends the whatever which is fine i mean i don't really have to that's gonna be my non-negotiable social media staying off of social media want to drink water regularly I know this might be an obvious thing people do but I don't drink that much water and it's crazy and water is so essential for your body like your body needs water so I that's one of the things I want to start implementing more probably drinking less coffee and drinking a lot more water exercise exercise is so important and it will it's one of the things that i want to start implementing and i have been implementing too i was really stressed during finals and there was no way or i did not figure out a way to release that stress and exercise does wonders being just able to walk outside getting that fresh air being outside looking at the sun getting your vitamin d because at some point i did have a vitamin d deficiency that slowly led to me being having a seasonal depression episode there for a second but anyways we're no longer there but my point is just being able to exercise move your body and that's something that i want to implement in my everyday life now of course i am busy and now that i work monday wednesday, monday wednesdays and fridays all day and then i have classes from tuesday on tuesdays and thursdays it's gonna be a little bit tough trying to squeeze in exercise but it's so important like it's therapy it's very very therapeutic and just me being able to go do my hot yoga or just walking on the treadmill for 30 minutes does wonders 
I really want to get back into reading books. I used to read a lot of books, self-help books, and I still love self-help books. And I'm going to show you guys my favorite books. I'm currently reading this book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you do not have this book, get this book. It's so good. Uh, this book, The Four Agreements. I heard good things about it. I have not started reading it. I just got it. This book is one of my favorite books, um, The Defining Decade. If you're a 20 something lost in life or you just confused, this is the book to read. This book put so many things into perspective for me and in a sense showed me that I'm on the right path and the things that I've been doing and I'm currently doing and will be doing, I'm on the right path and I don't have to feel lost or whatever because everything that's in this book, pretty much not everything, most of the stuff I have been doing ever since I was an au pair and if you're lost in life or you need a little bit of guidance and direction get this book it is so good jen sincero i read her other book the yellow one i can't remember the title but i got this book i don't really like it that much because it's that kind of book that you read every single day like you have to read one page each day oh yeah her yellow book it's called um you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life it looks like that it's yellow it's pretty much this but yellow but the yellow one has a lot more reading content in there same author love the book get the book i mean the yellow one. i love the yellow one this one i'm still learning to love it is start reading more books especially self-help books i love self-help books a lot every author has something to share great advice to share that is helpful so anyways one of the things that i want to do is start reading books 10 pages a day or once a week just read a book and i also want to start reading and looking into finance books because finance is another thing that I mean, I know how to manage my money effectively, but I need to go one step up. Like, you know how they teach you to save and you're like, you should save your money for rainy days. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's getting to that point where we need to start investing, babes. Okay, we need to start putting our money where our money will grow. So anyways, I do want to start reading books. Every single day, I want to do one productive thing we need a new one Shein. okay and the next i've always lived frugally but i want to start saving money and spending my money mindfully or in a mindful manner i know it's very tempting with amazon and all these shopping apps on your phone and you know whenever they have a sale they send you a notification but at some point we don't need all the stuff that they're promoting i want to start living a, li a little bit more minimalistically i don't have to buy the latest makeup out there i don't have to buy the newest jeans like i could go to a thrift store and buy secondhand clothing essentially i just want to start living minimalistically saving my money spending my money right i mean i've stopped with the starbucks and the iced coffee that's a huge step i don't do my nails i don't do my lashes i don't do all that fancy stuff i'm just your regular schmegler girl and i even stopped braiding my hair i even relaxed my hair so i don't have to spend money on that every single month wow. The next thing is eating well to stop eating out and eating junk food and i will blame my boyfriend for this because he loves to take me out on like we love exploring new restaurants and going out to eat but at the same time it is so not healthy eating out in america oh my gosh like the food is not good here so i want to start implementing cooking a lot more at home even though that's gonna be it's gonna kill me because i've gotten so used to just going out and like not having to cook sometimes during the week if i can like cook five times a day and then have the weekend to go out then that would be a huge accomplishment it's very easy to go pick up take out and not cook but I want to start eating well. I really, truly want to emphasize. I want to focus a lot more on my health. I want to focus a lot more on eating nutritious food for studying, for my mental health, my physical health. You know, having a good balanced diet contributes to your 
moods, your emotions, your performance, your studying well, etc. It's like a whole chain reaction. So if you eat well and you exercise and you do the things that make you happy, then you're gonna essentially become a better well-rounded person health-wise and less anxiety, less stress, less worrying about things that you don't need to worry about. So those are the things that I want to start implementing this year heavy like i need to it's a must it's a non-negotiable i need to do those things but other than that thank you guys for watching um this video i hope that all your goals for 2024 become true but also at the same time remember that successful goals or being able to achieve your goals or get to your goals you need a good system put in place one thing one tiny step movements towards your goal will get you to your goal but if you are just focused on the goal then you're not gonna eventually reach that goal if that makes sense <sighs> other than that thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video bye